All right, good morning, my friends, and happy Monday. We have a new theme this week, and our theme is reptiles and amphibians. And so to get started this week, we're going to start with Miss Amanda doing our good morning songs and our music and movement. Then Miss Tessa, I will do calendar with you. And then third, we'll have Miss Vanessa read a story. And then today is Monday, so it's not share day. We have an interactive activity, and our interactive activity will be with Miss Amanda. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spotlight Miss Amanda so we can get started with all the fun. All right, my friends. So since it's Monday, we are going to start with our name song. So we can see who's here today. Ooh, I'm so excited. I see lots of, I, lo I see lots of faces. So we're gonna start by clapping and we're gonna sing, here we are together. Ready? Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together at kid time with Reese and Grady and Marley and Adeline and Liam and Ben and Lily and Darren. And how about the teachers? And Miss Chrissy and Miss Tessa and Miss Vanessa and Miss Amanda. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together at where kid time you're right even if we're not at school we're still all a part of kid time so here we are together at kid time good job my friends give me a round of applause excellent nice job Darren. all right we are going to do our good morning songs now so let's get our hands ready and let's remember our sign language for thank you and we are going to start with one, two, three. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I think you. Very well, I think you. How about you? How about you? Good job, my friends. Give me a sign language clap. Yay! Now we're gonna do it in Espanol. Oh my gosh, I love how everyone is singing and clapping along with me today. That makes me so happy. Uno, dos, tres. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted? Y usted? Dead. Good job, my friends. Give me some sparkles. Give me some really nice sparkly sparkles. All right, last one. We're going to do it in Mandarin. Ready? Yi, er, san. Zao shang hao. Zao shang hao. Ni hao ma. Ni hao ma. Wo hen hao xie xie. Wo hen hao xie xie. Ni na. Nina. Good job, my friends. Raise the roof for me. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. <laughs> Good job, Lily. Nice, Darren. All right. We are going to, we are going to get up on our feet. And since it's reptile and amphibian week, we are going to do some reptile and amphibian movement. So, I'm going to move my, my bunny. All right. So we to start with frog jumps. So can everyone be a frog on the ground? What sound does a frog make? Oh. That's right. A frog goes ribbit, ribbit. So we're going to do some frog jumps. And when we jump, we're going to say ribbit really loud. Hmm. Let's do three jumps. Can you do it? I bet you can. Ready? One, ribbit. Nice high jumps. Two, ribbit. Good job. And last one, try to jump as high as you can. Three, ribbit. Good job, my friend. All right, let's stay on the ground and let's, I'm gonna move this down so you can see me. Uh oh, let's see. 
but we're going to get on the <laughs> we're going to get on the ground and we're gonna do this and this will be our lizard pose like this good job my friends I you start doing it with me good job do you feel that nice stretch in your back and something that lizards do to help pull them down they do like little lizard push-ups they go like this so let's do three ready one two and three good job my friends all right let's get up on our feet and now we're gonna do the silliest one we are going to Let's see, we were a frog, we were a lizard, and now we're gonna be a snake. Do snakes have arms? No, do snakes have legs? No, they don't have arms or legs. So let's put our arms behind our back and let's see if we can try to not use our arms or legs and wiggle around like a snake. Can you do it? How wiggly can you get without using your arms or your legs? Whoa, good job, my friends. You're all slippery, silly snakes. Good job. All right, turn back to your to your normal self. You're not a reptile or amphibian anymore. You're just you're just you. Yay! All right, we are going to end that with a rainstorm. We're gonna do a rainstorm today, and then we're gonna move on to this test. All right, so get ready with your. Tiny raindrops, tiny, tiny, tiny raindrops. We're not gonna talk at all. We're just going to listen, ready? And start with your tiny raindrops. Listen to the tiny raindrops. The rainstorm's coming. Make it go a little louder. Rub your hands together. Good job, my friends. And now we're going to clap quietly. Clap quietly, ready, go. Good job. And let's see if we can slowly get louder. Ready? There we go. Good job. You're getting louder. And we're going to stop our feet. And we are making the loudest, strongest rainstorm. And when I say go, stop, stop stomping your feet. Ready? Go. But we're still clapping really loud. And it's going to get quieter and quieter. And then you're gonna rub your hands together. Good job, Marley, I see you. And then, tiny little raindrops. Nice job. I see Lily's listening to the raindrops. Darren is so focused and, shh, good job. All right, my friends, we are going to move on to Miss Tessa. I'm going to spotlight her. All right, are my friends ready for calendar? Can I get two thumbs up if we're ready to go? Wiggle your thumbs. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Thank you. Starting at the top, we always have our month. And our month is? Starting with the letter M. May. Good job. And then we're gonna go to our year. And what do we have here? There's two ways to say it. We have our 2020 or 2020. Then we go to our season. And our season starts with an S. Spring. Season is spring. Then we're going to count our days. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Today is 11. Can you guys show me 11 fingers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't have 11 fingers. Do you have 11 fingers? No. So what two numbers are in 11? 
they're the same. A one and a one. Yeah, I saw Lily go one and a one, 11. Good job, my friends. So I put that back in the calendar and we slide up. Here's our day of the week. But what are we gonna do to figure that out? There's a special song, right? Warm up those hands. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Did Miss Tessa change her voice for that song? Oh, silly me. So let's start with our first card. What word do we have in red here? Starts with the letter Y. Yeah. Yesterday. And yesterday was this word. It's the first word in our song and it starts with the letter S. S. Sunday. And we don't get to do the sign for Sunday often, but do you guys remember it? Here, let me put my card down so I can remind you guys. Sunday. That one's fun, just Sunday. Top, bottom, Sunday. Good job, my friends. Then we move to our second card. We have another word in red here, starting with the letter T. T, T, today. And today is this word, starting with the letter M, and the M sound, mmm, mmm, Monday. Today's Monday. And our sign for Monday, remember we said that Monday starts with the letter M, that should be a clue there. We need to make our M in sign language, which is these three fingers, and you squeeze your thumb in there, and then you're gonna turn it to you, and you make a circle. Monday. Looking good, my friends. And our last card, we have here another word in red, starting with a T again. <laughs> and you guys are silly. <laughs> and what sound does T make? T -t 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 tomorrow. And tomorrow, ooh, this word also starts with a T. T, -t, -t will be Tuesday. Can everyone say that? Tuesday. And our sign for Tuesday, we're gonna make that letter T. Your thumb goes in between these fingers. T. Turn it to you and circle. Good job. Excuse me. <laughs> Good job. And so now let's go ahead and recap what today is. We're gonna say it all. I'll say it. Put on those listening ears. I wanna see those listening ears. All right, listen here. Today is Monday, May 11th. 2020. All right, did everyone hear me? Okay, we're gonna say it together. This is the second time we're gonna say it together. So I wanna hear you guys say it with me. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Good job, my friends. And that's all I have for calendar. So I'm gonna give the floor to Miss Vanessa for a reptile story. Hello friends, we're going to read a book and it is called, Do You Know About Reptiles? So I wanna see a quiet hand. Do you know about reptiles? Yes or no? Oh, I see some hands. So it looks like some of you already know about reptiles, but we're gonna read the book and we're gonna see if we find out anything new. And the author for this book, what does the author do? They draw the pictures? No, they write the words. And this author is Buffy Silverman. And since I don't see any other name in this book, I'm gonna guess that she's also the illustrator or the person who got what together? The pictures. The illustrator gets the pictures. 
So it says, what is a reptile? An alligator dives underwater to catch a fish. A sidewinder springs forward and bites a mouse. A wood turtle chews berries in a field. A horned lizard gobbles ants. Alligators, snakes. Turtles and lizards, that's four of them, look very different and they eat different foods, but all of them are reptiles. So this wood turtle lives in a stream in the forest. This little guy, it's a wood turtle. And an alligator looks for food in the water. So we have four different animals that are all reptiles. We have an alligator, snakes, turtles, and lizards. Reptiles are animals with dry, scaly skin. Their thick scales protect their bodies. Scales hold in water too. Scaly skin lets some reptiles live in high places. A skink, I think that's a kind of lizard, they have smooth scales. So smooth means soft. A snake, snakes have wide scales on their bellies. Scales help them glide across the ground. Can you see the scales on this snake's belly? Give me a thumbs up if you can see all these scales. All righty, yeah. So because the scales are wide, the thing really gets trapped in them and they can just, they can slither all around on the ground. A snapping turtle has small scales on its neck and large scales all over its shell. Can you see the large scales on the shell? I don't know if I, can you guys see how big those scales are? You see the yellow, those are the big scales on the shell. A turtle's backbone is part of its shell. Animals with backbones are called vertebrates. Reptiles are vertebrates. Turtles have backbones inside the shell. So I don't think they're showing us the actual vertebrates, but it's inside the shell. So these scales outside on the shell are protecting their body on the inside. Look around at the snake slide over the ground. Its backbone is made up of hundreds of small bones. Long backbones let snakes twist and turn. Snakes use their long backbones to move. That's why they get to move like an S and they go Because their long backbones lets them move all different kinds of ways. They don't have to be straight all the time. A crocodile has a strong backbone. The crocodile runs on land. It swishes its powerful tail to swim underwater. The crocodile swims to the surface to breathe. All reptiles breathe air. They breathe with lungs. Crocodiles have backbones and they breathe air. This is the backbone of the crocodile. It goes all the way down. So they have lungs just like we do. And we breathe in and out. So when they need air, they just come back out from the water and they take a breath. Almost like when you're swimming and you try to hold your breath really, really long and then you need more. So you come back up to the surface and you breathe in more air. Staying warm and cooling off. A crocodile basks on a sunny log. The sun warms its body. Reptiles cannot make their own body heat. They are ectotherms. They get warm or cool from their surroundings. This crocodile warms its body in the sun. So they warm their bodies by their surroundings. That means kind of like their environment. So if they want to get cold, should they go sit on a log? No, if they're cold, they should find shade or maybe some cool water. But if they want to get warm, they would sit out on the log like that in the sun so they can get heat. An iguana warms up on a rock in the desert. You see the iguana? Look at the iguana. He's using a rock. Most reptiles live on or near land in warm places. 
What do reptiles do when it's cold? Many find safe places to sleep. They hibernate. Every fall, prairie rattlesnakes travel to the same den. They hibernate there during winter. Look at all those rattlesnakes. So hibernate, I think we read about a bear when he was coming out in the spring. So they find somewhere safe to stay for the whole winter so they don't have to deal with the cold. And when it gets warm again outside, then they get to come out. A desert tortoise dig holes underground. At night, the desert cools off. Underground holes stay warmer than the cold night air. The holes also stay cool when the hot sun shines. A desert tortoise stays cool in a sandy dome. You see the little hole they made? Kind of like when you make a fort in your living room with blankets and pillows, they use it with the ground and the dirt so they can stay both cold when it's too hot and they can stay warm when it's too cold. They're using their environment to keep their bodies warm or cold. Staying safe. Let's find out how these reptiles stay safe. Some reptiles are hard to find. The lizard's spotted skin blends in with speckled rock. It camouflage. Its camouflage keeps it safe. Can you spot the granite lizard in the rocks? Can you guys see the lizard? Can I see a thumbs up for a yes or a thumbs down for a no? I see a few yeses. It's pretty close picture, but if you were far away, you probably couldn't see it. And that's how it protects its body, so it hides. How do other reptiles stay safe? A skink can drop its tail if an animal grabs it. The skink runs away and leaves behind its wiggling tail. The skink will grow a new tail. This skink dropped its tail and is growing a new one. You see how his tail? So his body, the way it protects itself, is let's say an animal grabs him right here, he can just let his tail go and he can run away so that he doesn't get eaten. But not to worry because they know how to grow it back. You see, it's super tiny right here. It's growing a new tail, kind of like when you grow hair, when you get a haircut and it's short and it grows back. A box turtle pulls in its head, tail and legs. It clamps its shell shut. A hungry, for, a hungry fox sniffs the turtle, but the fox cannot bite through the turtle's tough shell. A box turtle hides inside its shell, and the shell keeps it safe. So they go they inside so that they can't get hurt because the shell is so tough. A rattlesnake shakes its rattle. The sound warns enemies to stay away. Can you see the rattle on this rattlesnake? It's right there, kind of like a baby rattle. When you shake it and it makes noise, this is his rattle. So it gives people a warning, kind of like an alarm. He shakes his rattle. Eggs and babies. This is a green iguana. Green iguanas are reptiles, sorry. Most reptiles lay eggs on land. Green iguanas live in trees. They climb down to dig a nest and lay eggs. Look at all those eggs from the iguana. It says green iguanas lay more than 20 eggs at a time. That's a lot of green iguana babies. A sea turtle swims to shore. She digs a nest on the beach and she lays round eggs with rubbery shells. Tiny turtles hatch from the eggs. Look at those tiny little eggs, nice and round. Sea turtle lays eggs in her nest, then she covers the eggs with sand. So they're protected because they're covered by sand. The baby sea turtles crawl to the water Birds, raccoons, and fish eat many of them. 
A female garter snake carries her babies inside her body. She can give birth to 40 babies or more, and the babies take care of themselves. That's a lot of babies. 40 babies. Most reptiles do not stay with their young, but a mother alligator cares for her babies. She lays her eggs in a muddy nest. Look at her mouth, oh, sorry. <laughs> her mouth is open because she's protecting her eggs. She's gonna make sure nobody comes near her babies. Two months later, so baby alligators are in their eggs for two months, the babies hatch. The mother hears them yip. She leads them to water and keeps them safe. Soon they will hunt on their own and baby alligators stay with their mother and the mother chases all the enemies away. So different than the iguana and the turtle and the snake where when their babies are born, they get to leave and they don't stay with their mom. Baby alligators, they stay with their mama and their mama protects them. Okay, this is gonna be the last page. Sorry, my friends, I know this is a long book. Largest lizard. The Komodo dragon can grow 10 feet and weigh 200 pounds. With its 60 teeth, it can tear apart pigs and deer. That's how big it is. It can eat a pig. That means he's bigger than us. The littlest lizard, the world's smallest teensy weensy reptile, is the dwarf gecko. It's so tiny that it can curl up into a small coin. So that means it can be tiny, just like that. Super small. The longest snake is a python and it measures at 33 feet. So remember this guy was 10 feet? Well, this snake can be as long as 33 feet. It's as long as a school bus. Have you guys seen a school bus before? Those big yellow ones with all those tires? It can be as long as that. Oldest living animal, the oldest known tortoise, tortoise is like a big turtle, lived to be 188 years. That's many, many years. And tortoise often live over 100 years. I think I'm gonna stop there, that's a lot of, a lot of information, a lot of fun facts. And we still have an interactive with Miss Amanda. So I'm going to mute myself and spotlight Miss Amanda. I was, okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, my friends, that was a very interesting book. I really enjoyed that. So since we just talked about lots of different reptiles, Let's all think about what our favorite reptile is. Real quick, think in your brain. What's my favorite reptile? Is it a snake? Is it a lizard? Oh, is it a turtle? All right, and on the count of three, we're going to be that reptile for five seconds. Ready? I'm gonna be a lizard. All right, ready, set, go! One, two, three, four and five good job i guess i didn't really do a lizard thing there i'll do a push-up there we go <laughs> all right good job pretending to be reptiles my friends we are going to play a game called guess the reptile this is gonna be so much fun you're going to help guess so i'll unmute the friends that i pick so i'm gonna start by giving you a few clues and then if you think you know what the reptile is, you can raise a quiet hand and I'll pick, I'll pick you. All right. So my first reptile is a reptile that has no arms and no legs and it's slippery and it slithers around. <gasps> I see some quiet hands. All right. I'll